Saturday, 22nd of July 2023. And this is a news flash, but it should actually have been a real what a fuck moment. The reality is that we have got a major problem here in South Africa. And there are a few people that specifically can be isolated to be the cause of a lot of our problems and most probably will be the reason that our country is going to go through a hell of a fuck up. And I want to tell these people that talk about my language. Just listen carefully to what I'm going to say now. I am talking and using the words that I'm using because your pure and well-constructed syntax that you direct into the public space is getting zero fucking results. People don't listen to your sweet talk anymore. And it is time that they open their fucking ears and fucking listen. We are steering towards a major fucking disaster. But the holier than thou's want to stand and preach on the public platforms so well rounded and sophisticated. It's just that they do exactly what they want to do to you. They're sending you to hell on a fucking roller coaster and you are looking forward to the trip. This fucking John Steenhuisen or shitshot Johnny as I call him is a major fucking problem for us all. This idiotic bloxom's a race put and cuck that he's got in his head comes directly out of the fucking dark dungeons of the triple X. Open your fucking eyes and understand that that fucking man is dangerous and he is representing an evil fucking cabal that is totally committed to fucking us all. And he's got a ally and his name is Cyril Ramaphosa. That fucking thing was groomed from a very small boy into the monster that he is today and specifically to fuck our country up. He is so under the command of the triple X that it is unbelievable. But with your sweet talking you are too fucking stupid to see it. And then he's got this marauding malema with his m masses of fucking indoctrinated racist militants helping them on. They remind me of those fucking idiots that stoke the fires on which they themselves will be cooked because they're too stupid to realize where they're going. Common sense is fucked off out of the room. That is what has happened. But listen to this. In all this whole arrest put in fuck up. There is a voice of sanity and it is an article that was published in the Times and I'm going to read snippets from it and you need to really listen and think and understand how deep in the shit we really are. Andre Thomashausen, prosecuting heads of state Immunity and impunity. The ICC was risking its own role with contestable Putin South Africa warrant. I am absolutely disgusted. Listen to this. Contentious. To have insisted that an accepted mediator, South Africa together with five other African heads of state, in the most acrimonious and dangerous military conflict since World War II, should detain and surrender the head of state of one of the conflicting parties is a position that betrays the fundamental duty of an international organization to cherish and protect international peace and security. What that man says is 100% correct. But it also 
clearly shows you that these international organs that he is talking about has been totally captured by the triple X cabal and they fucking just do what they are told to do. And that is part of the reason why the world is in the fucking turmoil that it is. Because the international organs has been captured by evil fuckers. And the Americans are part of that. A big part of that. An application in the Gauteng High Court by the DA on May 29 to order the government of South Africa as well as President Cyril Ramaphosa to detain and surrender Russian Federation President Vladimir Putin to the International Criminal Court to be heard in open court on Friday has triggered a virulent debate of concepts of international law that only very few in South Africa have studied and learned to argue. Now I want to say this again. Dmitry Medvedev issued a statement directly after the issuing of that warrant in which he made it fucking clear arresting Putin would mean a de facto declaration of war against Russia. Now for those of you that don't know what de facto means, it means actually, directly. But this fucking shit shot Johnny and that Wendy, they thought it's a clever idea to arrest Putin. What the fuck is wrong with those people? I am convinced that somewhere in South Africa's constitution or in our laws, it is illegal for an individual to pull South Africa into a fucking war, a war with a nuclear power. Are these fucking people idiots? Yes, they are idiots, but they cannot help themselves because they got to follow the fucking commands from the triple X. They cannot dare not to do it because then they will go through windows. Don't forget this. The DA is trying to get South Africa into a war with Russia. That is what they're doing. A crucial first argument is that the South African National Prosecuting Authority is independent and neither the government nor the president can instruct it to act in any particular manner. And that is a fucking pipe dream. We know they are not independent. We know it. The second substantive consideration must be that the immunity of heads of state is the oldest universally recognized principle of engagement between nations. It can be traced back 4,000 years to the Phoenician times. It is the foundation of peaceful engagement of states with each other. Article 2 of the Convention of the Prevention and Punishment of the Crimes Against Internationally Protected Persons, including diplomatic agents, 1973, specifically shields foreign head of state against acts of violating their freedom, dignity, and property. But the fucking Americans, they do not respect any fucking law, any fucking rule, any fucking agreement. They do as they like. And this fucking DA is under their control. Don't fool yourself. If you vote for the DA in South Africa, you are voting for the fucking cabal in America. Get that into your head. Get it into your head. Don't come with a shit story. They are good administrators. They are all fucking under control of the Americans. So fucking under control that they are willing to risk a war with Russia. Article 97.3 of the ICC Treaty. The Rome Statute exempts South Africa from executing an ICC warrant if this would require it to breach 
a pre-existing treaty or obligation. This ICC warrant issued against the President Putin on March 17, 2023 can only be enforced if President Putin's immunity has been lifted. This would naturally be the case if Russia had become a member of the ICC. But it has not. Together with all the large powers, namely the US, India, China and most of Asia, the Middle East, Africa and Latin America. In the absence of a submission to the jurisdiction of the ICC as a member state, the immunity of a head of state can only be considered lifted when a warrant is issued on the request by the UN Security Council. This was the case in the warrant against President Omar al-Bashir of Sudan, but it does not apply to President Putin. And one of my community members came and sang a fucking huge song about the excellence of Glenis Lynn, uh, that advocate. Fuck! If she was so fucking bright, she would have told John, shut your Johnny, do not do this. But she did not advise him, or he fucking didn't listen. The ICC, when issuing a warrant against President Putin, without acting on a request by the UN Security Council, knew that the warrant would be contestable, and the ICC therefore agreed to consult with South Africa under Article 97 of the Rome Statute. And this fucking useless fucking Ramaphosa sat down and listened to their cuck instead of telling them, fuck off and take a hike. But Ramaphosa is also under control of Triple X. Don't forget that. Fuck, I'm angry this morning. An enforcement of the warrant is now a moot issue as the five BRICS members have agreed that the Russian Federation will not be represented by its president during the forthcoming August summit in Johannesburg. It would of course have been in the best interest of the ICC to have given South Africa an assurance that the request for an arrest based on the warrant in terms of Article 59 would not have been made during the BRICS summit. ICC could have avoided further erosion of its good standing in the eyes of the vast majority of the world population. But the fucking ICC is also under control of the triple X. To have insisted that an accepted mediator, South Africa, together with the other five African heads of states, in the most acrimonious and dangerous military conflict since World War II, should detain and surrender the head of state of one of the conflicting parties, is a position that betrays the fundamental duty of an international organization to cherish and protect international peace and security. Now this was written by Dr. Andre Thomashausen. He is a professor emeritus of comparative and international law at UNISA. Did this fucking stupid fucking Ramaphosa listen to this guy? called him in and asked him what his opinion was. No! The fucker just listened to his instructors in Washington. That is the problem, South Africa. That is our problem. We've got a weakling, a spineless jellyfish in charge of our country. But you must rest assured, and you must mark my words, Ramaphosa's main mission is to fuck the Republic of South Africa and his last obstacle is Eskom. Eskom needs to be privatized before Ramaphosa can collapse the Republic and keep your eyes open. I'm really sorry that I lost my fucking cool but that is it. Now our position in BRICS is in danger. And for all of you hanging on to the tits of the fucking West, just understand one thing. The only thing of value in South Africa is the Cape Sea route and they will fuck this whole country for that. And by fucking the whole country it means they're gonna fuck you as well. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you for your support. <laughs>